Hi everyone, welcome to another practice problem walkthrough by physicademy.com. In this video, first, we see how to calculate the acceleration and displacement of a velocity versus time plot and then sketch its displacement and acceleration versus time plots. Let's read the problem statement together. The figure shows a plot of a car's velocity as a function of time. Part A. Find the car's acceleration at times 3 seconds, at 7 seconds, and at 11 seconds. Part B. How far does the car travel between 2 seconds and 13 seconds? Part C. Sketch a plot of the car's position as a function of time. Appropriately scale and number the axes. Part D. Sketch a plot of the car's acceleration as a function of time. Appropriately scale and number the axes. All right, in part A, we are asked to find the acceleration of the motion at multiple moments. In general, an acceleration of a motion is the rate of change in velocity. In other words, the slope of a velocity versus time plot. At time equals 3 seconds, the velocity versus time plot is flat, therefore, the slope is zero. It means the acceleration at 3 seconds is 0 too. At 7 seconds, the slope is upward, therefore a positive value. To find its exact value, we divide the change in velocity by time. This section of the plot goes from 20 meters per second to 40 meters per second between 5 to 9 seconds. After plugging the numbers in, we get positive 5 meters per second squared for the acceleration of this part. At time equals 11 seconds, the slope is downward, so the acceleration is a negative value. After following the same process, but this time between 40 meters per second to 0 meters per second and 9 to 13 seconds, we get minus 10 meters per second squared for the acceleration of this part. We have two methods to find how far the car travels. We could measure the area under the velocity versus time. But this method is slow and can be too inaccurate. In the second method, we use the equation of motion for constant acceleration. Using the provided values of each part separately, we get plus 60 meters of displacement for the first part of the motion, plus 120 meters for the second part, and plus 80 meters for the third part. The total displacement from 2 seconds to 13 seconds will be 260 meters. Now that we know the exact displacement of each section, generating a displacement versus time plot from the velocity versus time is much easier. The first part of velocity versus time has no slope, therefore, it is a straight line with a constant positive slope on displacement versus time, like a neutral face emoji. The second part has a positive slope and looks like a smiling emoji. The third part has a negative slope and looks like a sad emoji. Remember, we match the displacement of each part with the values we have from part B. We focus on the slopes to generate the acceleration versus time from a velocity versus time. The slope of the first part is zero, therefore, the acceleration is zero. The slope of the second part is plus 5 meters per second squared, and the third part is minus 10 meters per second squared. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check our website, physicademy.com, or our YouTube channel for more practice problems. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel to support our work.